Sony have caused ruptures in recent years with their E-mount full-frame mirrorless in the 7 series and now the A9. Nikon have confirmed they're working on a full-frame mirrorless camera. And the rumours suggest that Canon are also working on their very own full-frame mirrorless camera. However, there is one small issue with that. They've said it's going to take native EF lenses. So why is saying that their new camera is only going to accept native EF lenses a problem? Well, prepare for some science. This is an EF mount lens. It is designed to mount onto an EF mount body, namely any Canon DSLR. Now, the way that lenses work is similar to a magnifying glass. Light will pass through and is projected out of the back. So at a certain distance out the back of the lens, the light will converge onto a single point. That is the distance that the sensor has to be placed from the back of the camera in order for the picture to be in focus. You'll know what I mean if you've ever tried to use a magnifying glass and the sun to set something on fire. As you move the magnifying glass closer to and further away from the object, you can see the pattern of light from the sun changing. And so at a certain distance, there will be a perfectly small spot. So anytime a camera lens is designed for a specific mount, the lens has to be designed so that the light converging is the correct distance for that particular mount. This distance is referred to as its flange distance. So with a Canon EF mount, that flange distance is 44 millimeters, which means that when you mount a lens to the front of this camera, it is always 44 millimeters away from the sensor. So any lens that goes on it has to project the light exactly 44 millimeters from the back of the lens so that it is in focus. If we take the likes of Canon's current mirrorless systems, which are APS-C sensors, these, as well as Sony's full frame sensors, because there is no mirror mechanism, their flange distance is reduced to only 18 millimeters. So the lens sits a lot closer to the sensor itself. Now, you cannot mount an EF lens straight onto a mirrorless body because, well, one, the mounts are the wrong size so they wouldn't fit, but also the distance is wrong. So the only way to mount an EF lens to a current mirrorless body is by using an adapter. This not only gives you the correct mount size, but also spaces the lens to the exact right distance from the camera for the lens to work. So why is all this a problem? Well, the key benefits to a mirrorless body are the reduced size of the body itself and the reduced size of the lenses because they can be made smaller because they don't have to project the light as far out of the back of it. Now, if Canon are gonna go ahead and produce a brand new full frame mirrorless camera that won't have its own new native lenses, but will only work with the current EF mount lenses designed for the DSLRs, that's gonna leave them with two possible options that I can see, neither of which make any sense at all. Option one, they keep the mount exactly the same distance from the sensor, which means that the body can't be shrunk down. So the most you will gain is removing the mirror and viewfinder which might save you a small amount of weight, but it's still gonna leave you with a body that's the same size as a DSLR, just with potentially worse autofocus. So you wind up with a camera that's pretty much the same size as a DSLR, using lenses designed for a DSLR. So you've got a whole new system that is pretty much exactly the same as a DSLR. Option two is that they find some way of incorporating some optics into the camera body in order to allow them to shrink the flange distance down, but then correct for the light pattern so that the light still falls on the sensor in the correct manner. However, incorporating optics directly into the camera body might allow that flange distance to be reduced slightly from 44 millimeters, but isn't gonna allow it to go anywhere near close to the 18 millimeters that all the mirrorless cameras are currently using. And in terms of weight, you're not gonna see any difference because all the weight you've just saved from removing the mirror and the optical viewfinder, you've now just put back in, in the form of optics. So if Canon are producing a full frame mirrorless camera, it seems a little bit pointless to limit it only to EF mount lenses. It would probably make far more sense to design it to be as small and compact as it can be and incorporate a new line of lenses. They don't need to have a particularly wide range of lenses. They could get away with just making a small kit lens and see how it goes from there. 
and then just incorporate an adapter that will still allow people to mount their regular EF lenses to the body, but gives you the option like all other mirrorless systems. Plus, if they go down that route and using an adapter, I've had a cool idea that Canon could try and incorporate, which is to allow us to mount filters directly into the adapter. So if you take a look at a normal adapter, they're around about 50 millimeters wide. So if they could find a way to allow us to drop in filters, it would mean that regardless of whatever lens you mount to the front of the camera, you can just drop the filters straight into the adapter. So if you are using some ultra wide angle lens with a really bulbous front element that doesn't allow you to mount filters directly onto it, or if you have a lens with a really, really obscure filter size, so filters are hard to come by, it means you don't have to worry. You can just buy very, very small, inexpensive filters and drop them straight into the adapter itself. But what do you guys think? Are you excited about the prospect of a full frame Canon mirrorless camera? Do you think it should be native EF mount or do you think it should have its own line of lenses and maybe my adapter idea? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I will see you in the next video.